Now, it was only a few weeks ago that large parts of the country were covered in snow as the beast from the east swept in. But today, Britain has been basking in the hottest day of the year so far, with the temperatures expected to remain high well into the weekend. London Marathon runners are being warned that Sunday could be the warmest race day for more than 20 years. Seema Katecha is in Birmingham for us now. Seema. Sophie, as with weather stories in the UK, there is seldom a happy ending. But this sunshine is set to continue for many of us across the country for a few days yet. The top temperature recorded here in Birmingham today was 22 degrees. However, don't put away those umbrellas just yet. There is rain forecast for some of us over the weekend. Finally, spring has properly sprung. In parts of the country, temperatures reached up to 25 degrees today. London, Norwich, Lincoln and Birmingham have all been on the receiving end of glorious weather. Really good. I booked the day off work, so I'm just out enjoying it with my friends. Um, went to a concert last night, so just relaxing and it feels really luxurious, actually. Relaxed, happy and excited for the summer. This morning when I wake up and the sun was shining, I just knew that I actually did want to get out of bed and have like a really nice day, so yeah, really happy. And on the beach in Jersey, they made the most of it. Absolutely superb. We've been waiting for this for a long time. It's been a never-ending winter. Oh, it's lovely, yeah. Just uh, really nice to have the sun out and no clouds. It's nice to bring the kids down to the beach and uh, hopefully it continues for the rest of the summer. The change in weather is down to a change in wind direction. Warm air is being pushed northwards from the Mediterranean and Central Europe, lifting temperatures for many of us. And for the next few days, even more spells of sunshine are to come. However, in western parts of Scotland, some showers are possible. The plans for tonight, some family time in the outdoors, as long as the sun lasts. Seema Katecha, BBC News in Birmingham. Time now for a look at the weather. Matt Taylor is here. Now, come on. You didn't, <laughs> you didn't think you could get away with this away last week. This will be... Uh, warmth will be just a breeze to you. Yes. That Behind was, me. That was me in the Sahara. Sophie. Yes, you in the Sahara. <laughs> was it five marathons? Six, six, six marathons. marathons. Five days, five 150 days. miles across the Sahara Desert, otherwise known as the Marathon de Sable. Crazy. Crazy. Temperatures and up hot. to 45 degrees, which will stand you in good stead for this weekend's <laughs> London Marathon. Can't believe you're doing that as well. But <laughs> if you will be joining Sophie on the... Uh, well, at least it will be a slightly flatter <laughs> starting line than that. Uh, London Marathon, be prepared. Lots of liquids, lots of sun cream as well on Sunday. Uh, cloud amounts are set to build through the day, but we could see temperatures hit 21 to 23 degrees during the afternoon. There is a small chance of a refreshing shower if you're one of the uh, stragglers later on in the afternoon, but most of the time it will be dry. Heed the advice of the organisers. As for tomorrow, though, the hottest day of the week for most parts of the country. A very warm day, almost a beach day, a little bit cool in the sea still at the moment. Lots of sunshine developing across the country. Starts off with a bit of cloud in western Scotland and Northern Ireland. That pushes them back in through tonight with a few showers. These are your starting temperatures for the day. If you're an early commuter, a little bit on the fresh side, but as soon as that sun gets up above the horizon, there will be that warmth building. The cloud in western Scotland with a few showers will break up, breaking up to Northern Ireland to sunny spells for the rest of the day. Western fringes of England Wales, just a chance of a little bit of misty low cloud every now and again. When that comes through, temperatures will drop a touch so it may be a little bit cooler for you than it was today, but in the sunshine further east, uh, Murray Firth, 21 degrees, not far off that across other parts of eastern Scotland, 27 or 28, 82 Fahrenheit towards the southeast corner of England. Now that real heat will start to be uh, curved off back in towards the near continent this weekend as Atlantic winds start to push their way. And it'll be a slow old process, still a lovely day for many on Friday. With lighter winds across the south, greater chance of a few mist and fog patches. One or two of those could be lurking around the coast throughout the day. A few showers across the highlands and islands of Scotland still. The odd heavier one, but for most it's a dry day. A bit more cloud around compared with uh, Thursday, but still very pleasant. Temperatures mid to high teens, still mid-twenties across some parts of central and eastern England. Now into the weekend, high pressure's there to begin with, but as that pushes its way off eastwards into Sunday, the air destabilises and that means a greater chance of one or two showers developing. So Saturday, by and large, across the UK, a dry day, fairly sunny day, pleasant day with light winds and uh, sunny spells. Into Sunday, though, actually from the end of Saturday in the west and into Sunday, a greater chance of some showers developing. Some of those could be a little bit on the heavy and thundery side. Exact positions of those will firm up over the next few days, but really for the next few days at least, spring is at last with us.